Welcome to the GE MDS video training series. In this video, I'll show you how to configure port forwarding rules. The Orbit MCR4G has a public side and a private side. Your public side is going to be whatever IP address your cell service provider gives you, and then your private side is going to be your user-defined private subnet. An example need for port forwarding is such. Your Orbit MCR4G has Modbus PLCs connected to it via the Ethernet ports. You need to get into its cell connection and pull these units. You need to be able to get from the public side to the private side, much like with your home router if you wanted to get into your router from outside. This is where port forwarding rules come into effect. In this video, I'll use the system pictured here to set up a port forward rule to pull the remote host. The Orbit MCR4G has a public IP address assigned from the cell network of 166.130.200.143 and a private IP of 192.168.1.1. The remote host off the Orbit MCR4G's Ethernet port has an IP address of 192.168.1.22. Listening for poll requests on port 502. To create the port forward rule, two sets of criteria are needed. The first is the match criteria, or what the orbit will filter for to determine if an incoming data packet should be forwarded. It will check for correct IP addresses, ports, and protocol. In this example, the destination address entered is the Orbit MCR4G's WAN interface, or cell IP, followed by the listening port of your choosing. I'll also match on TCP packets. The second set is the forwarding criteria. Any IP packet that meets the match criteria will be forwarded on using the destination NAT settings. The forwarding address is the remote host 192.168.1.22 and its port 502. To configure this on the web, log in as admin and click services on the left hand side, then firewall and basic config. From here, click destination NAT port forwarding and the section will expand. Click on Add, then name a new rule set, and click Add. Create a port forward rule by clicking Add, then enter a rule ID, and click Add. Set up the match criteria first. Protocol TCP, destination port 822, destination address of the 166.130.200.143. Make sure to add the prefix link to the end of the destination address. Now enter the destination NAT address and port parameters. When complete, click Finish. The port forward rule has been created, but we must assign this rule to the orbit interface performing port forwarding. This example uses the cell interface, so click Interfaces on the left and then Cell. Then Basic Config and NAT. Browse your destination NAT parameter and select the newly created port forwarding rule set. Then click OK. Finally, save the configuration to apply the changes to your system. To configure port forwarding using the web interface wizard, log in as admin and click wizards on the left hand side. Then click port forwarding. Display it is some general info. Click on Next. Click Add to create a new rule set, then the name of the rule set in the dialog. Do not use spaces in your name. Click OK. Click Add New Rule, then select the appropriate protocol, and fill out the incoming IP and port fields. Then enter the forwarding IP and port information. Then click on Next. Choose the interface that will use this port forward rule, then click the rule set in the drop down list, then click Next. Review your changes and click Submit. The configuration will then be applied to your device. Now I'll walk you through how to set this up using the command line. Log into the device as admin and enter configuration mode. The first set of information to configure is the match criteria. For this rule set, we'll create rule number one.
Then set the protocol to TCP, the DEST port to 822, and the DEST address to 166.130.200.143 slash 32. Press enter and the system will prompt you to enter the first part of the destination NAT criteria, the IP address to forward to. Enter the RTU's IP of 192.168.1.22. The final bit to configure is the destination NAT port. Enter this command and set the forwarding port to 502. Now, to verify everything is set up correctly, I issued a show command on the NAT rules. The final step is to apply this rule to the interface you wish the IP traffic to be forwarded. In this case, the WAN interface is the cell. Set the destination NAT to the newly created rule set. A final show command displays the configuration is properly set up. Type commit to apply all changes. I hope this video was helpful for you. For additional information, visit our website at www.gemds.com.